our Monday Lenten lunchtime lesson from Father Andrew of the Society of Divine Compassion. A Daily Dying As Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Romans 6, verse 4. St. Paul often tells the readers of his epistles that by baptism they die to an old life and rise to new life in Christ, and that this new life is to have for its inspiration the glorious resurrection life of our Lord. We know that our religion does not end at the cross. If it did, it would be a very sad affair. The whole reason of our Lord's death was that there might be life more abundant. We have to try to die with our Lord if we would rise with him. Our Lord's life was, in a mystical sense, a daily dying. There came the day when he completely died in darkness, shame, and pain, and in proportion to the completeness of his death was the completeness and the perfection of his resurrection. All of us have some peculiar weakness of our own, a quick temper, laziness, or some kind of selfishness. It is to this that we must learn to die daily, if we would live the new life in Christ. If we allow our bodies by their desires to dull our devotion and obscure our spiritual vision, then we live to the flesh and die to Christ. But if we keep them in subjection, then we die to the flesh and live to Christ. We must die to our own self-will. The reason we do things should be because we believe them to be in harmony with the will of God. We must die to our own self-love. The saints have always been at peace within themselves because they have never thought about themselves. Only out of the death of self-love can there be a resurrection to the love of God.